Hello, hi, I'm Catherine, the creator of Shia and the Jetsons Community Preservation of the Promised Land. Um, I want to give a shout out to everyone who uh, is sending the poster magazines of the announcement of the Promised Land to all television station networks, NBC, Viacon, I think it, yeah, broad, Broadband and Viacon, and it was another one, but it's universal, it's NBCUniversal.com. Please look at that and look at the, the, the corporate office executive orders there. They own banking systems. They own uh, Homeland Security. And Homeland Security is no, nothing but their cousins. They brothers, they uncles. That's the Homeland Security people that you see at the library. So they ain't no big deal. But they had, they put, okay, so, so the poster magazines went to them and they got the message and they, they own Biden. So Biden and NBC News, they're the same, same, one and the same. So what they did was, you know, they supposed to email me and say, yes, Catherine, you have a television station network right here and you can go ahead and announce your rules and regulations of the promised land. But instead they put crackhead Biden on there. You can't say you, he, he sit up there uh, talking about New World Order. You can't say New World Order and you a crackhead and a criminal. You can't be a crackhead and a criminal at the same time. You got to shut up and hand over the motherfucking keys and then D and the deeds like I told you. Because the rules of the regulation applies to it being our land. We are standing on our own 640 acres that's not yours. So you can't say New World Order. You can only apply that to your own race of people. Okay? Because you a crackhead and a criminal, you can't say New World Order and then at the same time you a crackhead. You can't do that. You and nobody gonna take you. Ain't nobody taking you seriously anyway. You see now, and it's NBC that got you up there. So I'm talking to NBC Universal Studios that told Whoopi Goldberg to go ahead and reflect on her history. And I said that we reflected. And when we came back, that Whoopi, when we came back and we reflected, we reflected because you said it was about race, and you're right. It is about race. Because right here, you know, Dan Calloway points out that it's definitely about race and that you owe reparations, but not reparations in the way you think. It's not about money. It's about services that are already up and running that you're using against us. Okay, so every single business is to every, every single business owes every single Negro monthly land taxes for the rest of our lives and that would include every single uh 2019 or 2022 rv motorhome coach would go to every single negro race the starting at the age of 16. they they have to have that on their birth certificate because they have to have a home and they have to have transportation at the same time and the rv motorhome coaches are perfect they have the stationary ones and they have the uh the uh the regular ones top of the line that goes to each and every black person so that they can travel in their promised land communities of their 640 acres uh, from Canada to South America because that's where we're indigenous to. And the foreigners that came here are the bloodline of Paul Revere. Paul Revere are, are the bloodline of all the white people that came here. They were all criminals. And they came over here uh, on the British, and this is what we're sending to NBC to let them know what they are. These are not your resources that you're using. You're using the resources against us, and they're not yours. So you have to either scooch over or just move out altogether because the, the television station network in NBC, in Chicago, California, Florida, and New York, you removed us out of, and then you put your television station network there, and now you're talking shit about us every time you spew you spew out vile shit about murder and mayhem and you got this crackhead biting on here talking about oh well, we murdered so many people and we from from the year 1900s to 1946 we murdered so many thousands of millions of people okay see that's why you have to get the fuck out of the sea because you murdering everybody See that's, why, see, that's why you said New World Order, because you can only say it to your people. You can't say it to the, the, to the Negro race. You don't know what you're talking about, and you a crackhead, so you have to shut up and, and get out that seat. Now, 
you got not not you but the NBC have to email me nicely and give me that the deed and the keys to the part of the television station network because I have to announce the rules and regulations and the rules and regulations are 640 acres is to every black person that means uh, uh, Larry Hoover would have to get his own television station network to tell his side of the story of what's going on with him you would have to hand him the deed and the keys to that prison and his minions would have to come out of there because it's mixed. It's got it's got the innocent people in prison and the evil people out. So Larry Hoover would have to pick who have to stay in prison and who have to come out that bitch. Then when he get out with his minions, he got to pick out who's evil around me and who's evil around everybody to put them in their rightful place in prison. Because foreigners have taken over our land and is murdering us. Been murdering us for 400 years. That's enough. Okay? So so you can't say nothing about no New World Order unless you're talking to your people. So that right there was dumb. And you know who you're talking to. Since I sent those poster magazines to you, now you want to say that. You wasn't thinking about no New World Order. The only way you saying that is when you feel threatened upon. Like you feel this threat. Of course. Because you own stolen land that's not yours and you're using our resources. So, of course, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it to the day you die. So, here, here's Dan Calloway to let you what you need to know. Which was 124 years after Special Field Order Number 15 was issued, Representative John Conyers introduced a bill labeled H.R. 40. And if this bill was passed, it would only allow for the creation of a study commission to study slavery and discrimination in the United States and then study potential reparation proposals for restitution. And just this bill alone is being ignored. Yep, a study into the issues surrounding the aftermath of early unjust labor in the United States is being ignored still to this very day by the government. Now, remember, uh, I mean, still to this very day, but they hurried up in that uh, Stop Asian Hate. And they got all those gay rights. Everybody got their rights quickly. Quickly. And HR 40 was just a study to what this government did to us. And they still, to this day, 2022, are ignoring it. Everybody else got rights. The foreigners. But yet, y'all still now we're going to vote this person in. Vote that person in. It's going to change, y'all. Hold on. Wait. We got to get Trump. Then y'all going to put it on Trump. I mean, come on. What? Look what happened to JFK. We don't got to get nobody. We just got to get ourselves together. That's it. We got to take command. Thank you, J. Jones. Self-government. We got to take the lead. Stop listening to 40s, 50s, 60s, 70-year-olds. Let's keep telling you we got to get into this government. No, we don't. No, we don't. This government know what they did. They are responsible for what happened to our families in the past. And they don't want you to do anything to change what they got going on because it's fattening in their pockets. And they still helping incoming foreigners only. Yeah, no, no. Dane is a fraud. Dane is this. He don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> if you were in front of me, I'd slap you upside your head. 
Okay, now this is the thing here. Now, the reason why uh, uh, crackhead-ass Biden sit up there and say New World Orders because the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? It's like the, this, this thing here. Now, he already know that, you know, it's, it's closing in on his ass. Uh, the pressure is closing in. It's nowhere for you to run or hide. You know what I'm saying? You got to email me. And hand over them that deed and them keys so I can go ahead and announce the rules and regulation of the promised land. Because the people sent you the uh, poster magazine of the rules and regulation. This is not your land. And, you know, you can go ahead and say the New World Order and you know what you, what you, who you talking to. You talking to your people. You know what I'm saying? And I had this vision that it was going to be Michelle Obama. I had a vision that Michelle Obama kicked Biden down the flight of stairs. She did some Sparta shit like this is Sparta. Boom, and kicked that motherfucker down the flight of stairs. And he rolled and tumbled and said, oh, Jesus Christ, really loud and shit. And I wanted to run down the stairs and say, you know what? Fuck your Jesus. Your Jesus Christ ain't going to help you. He too busy hanging on a stick, wearing a diaper and some motherfucking sandals with his bloody ass. And that's what you represent. You represent that motherfucker hanging on that cross, bloodied in the motherfucker. Because that's what you represent. And that's why you got them coons wearing that shit. Because that's really your ass. Talking about some New World Order. No, you a crackhead and a criminal on some foreign land. You get your white stank ass up out of here. You ain't, you ain't saying nothing. You better hand over them keys. So I know why you, you said that shit. That shit ain't going to let no. Fuck out of here. Now, I'm going to make this, this is going to be a quick video because I have to make this other video for y'all to show y'all about, uh, about this. But I have to make some walnut cookies for the babies, you know, because I got my girls. I got my girls, you know, and so we're making some cookies. But so I'm going to make this quick up, but I just wanted to make that video right quick. You not saying shit. Now, now we emailed you way back, what, three, four months. And you got that memo. I'm talking about all the television station networks. So, you know, y'all is one and the same. You want Homeland Security, bullshit ass. All y'all, y'all ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? So, it wasn't Michelle that kicked you down the flight of stairs. It was me. I kicked your ass down the flight. It's going to be me. That's what it's going to be. That's what I thought, thought it was. Because I'm thinking, like, no, it's, I don't think it's Michelle Obama that's going to kick Biden down the flight of stairs. That's me. Yeah, that's me. Okay, so... So hurry up and do what you got to do and, you know, shit, you won't fall. Go ahead. You be falling like Humpty Dumpty fucking with me. So uh, let me make this quick. Um, I wanted to uh, make this other video right quick. But, you know, I'm going to make this video tomorrow morning because it's already late. What is this? Nine? Okay, so y'all probably already sleep. If y'all in New York, I'm in Cali, so... Yeah, I'm gonna make this quick. So yeah, I just wanted to get that point across because Dan Calloway, you know, he tell me always tell the truth. And you don't sit up here and say anything like that. You address it to your own people. You don't say, oh, it's some bullshit ass nigga. You know, you what who you talking? You're not talking, you talking to your people. You have to address it to your people. That's your problem. That's the problem with you white people. Why do you keep bringing us and pulling us into your motherfucking misery? Okay? Don't be pulling us into your misery, bitch. You stand alone. You understand? You stand all by yourself on foreign land. And, and I mean, I come from the root. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's nowhere for you to run and hide. You got Russia on your ass. You got China and Iran from all sides. And then I'm coming from the bottom up, from the, uh, the, under, the underdog position, where I'm coming from the root. Okay, from the roots, literally, like from the earth and the ground, we coming up, you know what I'm saying? And you just outnumbered. Just don't, just forget about it. Don't ever say no goddamn New World Order unless you is addressing it to white. You got to say Caucasian race only. You got to say that, say, you got to say shit like that. Don't be talking about all Americans because then we'll think you talking about us. And you, you, you damn sure ain't talking about us. That's what you damn sure ain't talking to. You ain't talking to us. You talking to your people, your race of people. Yeah. Go tell that to Trump. Yeah, tell Gil. Yeah, tell Trump he got that two world order coming. See what? Yeah, Get your fucking ass up. Okay, so I'm gonna make this short, and uh, cause I wanted to show you how they actually bombed our communities and put all the television. Type in 
NBCUniversal.com and go under corporate and you will see how they formed a go under Viacom. No, forget that. Go under Viacom. V I A C O M. Viacom. And you will see that they own all television station networks. They're using all our resources, all of it. And it's just blasphemy. They can't continue to do that and they and they have to stop. You can't con and you got those you got the announcement of the promised land. So all of you guys got that. That's why you sent your crackhead out there and said to for him to say that. You know what I'm saying? It's just so you can get my reaction. Okay, my reaction is hand over that the motherfucking keys and them deeds because you supposed to did that with all of us. We supposed to have a place in the television station network in in each state, California, Chicago, you know, in each state, because you telling your side of your movies and stuff. We want to make movies too. You ain't the only motherfucker that want to make movies. We want to tell how we live, how we used to live before 1619. We want to do that. We want to tell our side of the story all the time, 24 hours a day. We want to show movies and commercials and of, of, of us. Because it's our resources and it's not yours. Do you understand? What's your name? Jennifer, you own, you on the top. You go to NBCUniversal.com and you'll see all the names. And look at my poster magazine on page four. That's where it's at. You got to email those people that's on page four. And you'll see a woman named Jennifer. You'll see some other names. There's a lot of other names on there. Those are the top people that own NBC and all that. Those are the lizards. The vampire people. Okay? Because I'm the vampire slayer for real, for real. I'm just letting you know I'm the vampire killer, bitch. You fucked up. You shouldn't have never told Whoopi with her coon ass to go reflect. Okay, well, we reflected. Bitch, you need to come up off that seat. So, um, and hand over the keys and do it nicely on my email. Yeah, because everything you do is ours. The money you using, that's from trees. The ink, the pen you writing on, bitch, where you get the pen from? Where you get the chair you sitting on, bitch, where you get that from? The car you driving, the food you eating, bitch, I'm feeding you. Because you removed us from our land. I think you know what I'm saying. So it's blasphemy for you to keep continuing and sending that little, the little roach, but a crackhead just to just say some shit. Like he could just talk, bitch. No, no peck of wood can talk while he a crackhead and, and a motherfucking criminal on foreign land. No. Okay. <clears throat> now, here is uh yeah. Let me go ahead and, and uh in this. I'm gonna uh, make another video tomorrow because I gotta make some more no cookies for my girls. The chocolate chip more no cookies. Okay, so. Yeah, so it wasn't Michelle Obama because I had mentioned to you guys earlier that I saw a vision. It was about, I don't know, six months ago. I told y'all that. Y'all already know. Y'all already know in the comments, whatever, that I had a vision that it was Michelle Obama that kicked that motherfucker down the flight of stairs. No, that might be me coming up when I come up in, in NBC. Cause I, well, he's not going to be in the studio. Though. He might not be, but I have to go in the White House anyway and turn that motherfucker black. That's right. We're going to turn the White House black, goddammit. And green, you know, different colors, you know, just brown, green, and you know, we going, we just, this shit is happening. You, you can't just reign supreme forever. Four hundred years slavery ended in two thousand nineteen, and it was never supposed to happen anyway, because y'all came here on some Paul Revere shit. Remember, you came here as criminals. Y'all supposed to have been executed by the British Moors, and y'all know all about that because it's in your history books. I'm not telling you nothing new. You already know. You already you vilify Paul Revere. Y'all love Paul Revere. That's your bloodline. Yeah, go ahead. Be proud of that. Because everything you say is criminal. So, I mean, damn. Okay. So, let me end this up. But, but I'm going to put a link on there so you can see the rest of what Dan Calloway is saying. Okay. So, yeah. Let me end this. And I'm going um, to make a video in the morning. Okay. All right.